In this session, let us discuss about recycling of e-waste using pyrometallurgy method. Now let us see what is pyrometallurgy process. As the name pyro indicates, it is the heating process to extract the valuable metals from electronic waste. Usually this method is used to extract non-ferrous and precious metals from e-waste. This method is carried out in different stages. The first stage is smelting or roasting. Here, the crushed and ground e-waste is put in a furnace at high temperature. The temperature is decided based on the metal to be extracted. For roasting, the source material is heated in the presence of oxygen. Generally, roasting is used to remove the impurities or convert the metal sulfide to metal oxide. In case of smelting, the material is heated with a reducing agent such as charcoal. This will convert the metal oxide to desired metal. Next stage is metal separation. During roasting or smelting, the desired metals are collected at the bottom of the furnace due to its high density. At the same time, the impurities and non-metallic compounds form less dense molten slag layer which floats on the metal. As the slag is less dense, it floats on the metal. Usually slag consists of oxides and other non-metallic compounds which can be separated from the metal. The metal collected at the bottom of the furnace is poured out and cast into molds. This process can be adjusted to produce different shapes and size of metal products. And here mainly we are reducing the volume of the metal. Whatever metal collected may contain some trace of impurity which can be purified by refining. Refining process can include electrolysis, distillation or other chemical methods. Even though pyrometallurgical method is effective to recover the valuable metals from e-waste, it is having some drawbacks. The first one is it may generate the hazardous byproducts and require significant input. Moreover, this method may affect the environment and human health if not properly managed. 